All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. I ain't made a video in a while. I'm kind of busy. Today I'm working on a uh, seat base for some of our patio chairs. Uh, they're swivel and they, you know, got the spring and rock and swivel. And I had problems with the uh, bolts shearing off on them. This one only sheared the two front ones and the two back ones I was able to take out. But the one I worked on yesterday, all four of them were sheared off. And so <clears throat> yesterday I started drilling, trying to use the easy out. And uh, I ended up having to drill one all the way out bigger. I didn't really like doing that, but one of them I was able to get out. But the back two, I ended up breaking a... Uh, a drill bit off in so I found a better way it's a lot quicker and a lot easier there's enough of this bolt sticking out there's not enough to get a pair of vice grips on but there is enough to weld a piece of bolt to so what I did is I just tacked I just cut off the head of a bolt and I tacked it on to that piece sticking out right here and I was able to get it out so that's what I'm going to try to do today and I'm going to use my MIG. And so, uh, it's just a matter of finding some uh, bolts. Uh, you can tell where I cut this head off. I had some long bolts. And I didn't really want to weld it to the thread, so I just cut the head off of it. So, I got to find some more bolts, and uh, hopefully, I got two more I can get. If not, I can just cut a piece off these and take a pair of vice grips and get them out. But a little easier if you got a if you got a head that you can get a, a uh, wrench on. So I'm gonna go find some bolts and then we'll get started. Okay, guys, so I found a couple bolts here. And they're grade five bolts, but I get these at track supply by the pound. This is just something I had extra to use. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna use my cut off wheel grind them off and I gotta find my fast grip somewhere. And, you know, I had my easy outs here but them things is more pain than worth. What I'm gonna do is put these in the vice grip. I'm going to throw a lot of sparks, so I'm going to put my welding glove on. And my safety glasses. And I hope you can see, because I'm going to be kind of, kind of away from you there. I'm going to leave enough where I can, I can get my uh, welding tip in there. little bit of a rough edge there. Really ain't gonna make no big deal. Yeah. 
there's just a couple good tacks on there. And uh, what I did earlier was uh, sprayed a little bit of lube around these bolts, so hopefully it will. Uh, careful this thing is pretty hot. I'm gonna put the glove back on just in case. And we just have to figure out which way we need to go with it, I believe. Chaser. It's not a tap, it just cleans the threads out. And what I'd suggest do is just run that in and clean those threads. You're not really cutting threads, you're just cleaning them. And it does make a big difference when you go put them back. I'm going to do that for all four of them. This one, the boat came out, so it's not that big, bad a deal. That's how you get them out. Uh, so, uh, basically, that's what it looked like. And, like I said, just tack it on each side if you can get a hook hold to it. High heat. I had this thing set on uh, high two, which is a high setting, and uh, of course I'm just using it for just a second or two. I just want to get good penetration as quick as I can. It didn't, you know, it kind of blackened it, but it didn't uh, hurt, even really hurt the paint that much on it. So now I'm just going to move my ground over to this side and uh, get this one out. All right, guys. Got that one out, no problem. And uh, put it on the ground. So now it's just a matter of putting this thing back together. All right, guys, so this is the upper part of this chair. on there like that. So uh, the other chairs are over there. And the one I fix is that on the end. So these other two I'm just going to replace the bolts in. And uh, yeah, go from there. So what I'm using is uh, I've got two different size bolts. I've got a longer bolt and a shorter bolt. And that's one of them just because that's what I had. These longer ones I used in that other chair. I know they're longer than it needs to be. So really, I just need these shorter ones. But and I'm also using uh, some washers. These these didn't have washers on them, so I'm putting them on there. 
I'll give y'all a view of my garden here while we're sitting here. I really ain't never made a video of the garden, but we got some squash, some tomato plants there, pepper plants to the side, and then some cabbage that the bugs about eat up. Zucchini in the back, and there's a squirrel. And uh, corn's over here. I just got two rows of corn. And uh, it won't be long for they'll start tasseling. The wind come up the other day and got yeah, pretty rough on us. Uh, about blowed half of them down, but it bounced back. So, uh, anyway, we'll get this thing together and I'll show you what it looks like. You guys got it bolted up. As you can tell, these long bolts, I could just about put a nut on those. But the short ones don't quite come all the way through. Of course, I'm using washers. The original didn't. But uh, if I have to, I can always put nuts on here and put longer bolts in the front, put nuts on them if they strip the threads. So that's one down and two to go. Well, guys, I didn't catch this one in time and it sheared the top, the two front ones off. So I'm going to have to go back to the shop and get them out. And uh, I'm going to try to get these back ones off. Sometimes they're kind of a pain. See how they eat into that thin aluminum right here. Because they don't have washers on them. But uh, hopefully I can get them out. And then I think the other one still got all four bolts in it. So we'll swap them out and take this back to the shop and get it fixed. So see if we can get her out. This is, was a pain the other day trying to get these out. So I'm going to have both hands and keep it posted. Alright guys, got them out. As you can see this one was in pretty rough shape. It's already bent. And it was a little more trouble to get out than this one. I'm comparing them. You see they're the same size as what I'm putting back, but I'm using a washer so it don't stick down as far. Uh, got good thread sticking out there so no problem. Put some weld on them, get them out. Then I'll go ahead and fix the other one before it breaks off. And uh, anyway guys, hope this helps out. If you have deck chairs like this that sit out in the sun and the rain, uh, you might want to think about replacing your hardware. Because I don't even think these was even grade 5 bolts. These, they got a little diamond on the head, but that's I don't feel any uh, don't feel any little markings like this one. Y'all can't see that in the macro. So this is a grade 5. It's got these little markings on it. And this one, of course, is covered in paint, but no markings other than a little diamond. And it may be a grade 5, but if it is, uh, they're failing. And I bought these used uh, three years ago. And I don't know how old they are. You can tell they need a good washing. But uh see some rust starting on this pivot bolt. This is a little hard to turn. So may have to look into it and see how this thing works. Yeah, I ain't real sure. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, leave some comments and subscribe if you haven't.